Patreon member shout out. YouTube told me I'd be a blog star. All I have to change is everything you are. Tired of being compared to my friend Taps Trades. He's so handsome, that just ain't me. Doctor, doctor. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with the VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I love y'all. I'm going to say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that thanks button down below. Um, Omi, by the end of the day, the end of the trading day, was up about uh, 1%. Uh, not, did not outperform the markets today. The Dow was up 1.2%, uh, the S&P 500 was up 1.5%, and the NASDAQ was up over 2%, uh, so that did outperform us today. And Bitcoin outperformed us also, going up 1.5%, so it is good for the macro, it is good for the overall market. Why I'm doing two kind of uh, big videos today is just because we, there's just a lot to cover, and there's a couple of things that, you know, for people that don't watch my two and a half hour live streams, I, I understand. You, you guys have, you guys are very busy, you have a lot going on. So sometimes there's really good questions come, that come up that you're just not gonna see, uh, and I wanna go over a couple of them. One was from Subby Zero, saying, do you consider selling an uh, ultra rare Vader to buy a secret rare Fantastic Four number five? Uh, is that a good exchange? I know it's probably nuts, but I wanted to ask the man, the myth, the legend. So I do appreciate that, and I, you know, I'll first say that I don't think there's enough data to really, really get a really good feel on it. But let's go over the stuff that we do know. We, we know that Vader, we haven't had Vader in a bull market. We've only had him in a bear market. So we don't know how he's gonna perform. We know how this is gonna perform. We know how this uh, Fantastic Four Seagull Rare number five is gonna perform. That, that was like 25 grand at one point. Why didn't I sell them? And I, I only have one left. But so, so we know that it'll probably go back up to there. You know, maybe pro probably a little higher, you know, in, in the next year or so. You know, as people get back on, as we're, you know, kind of getting out of the bear market, you know, whenever that is, hopefully in the next six-ish months, maybe. Uh, might have, you know, Taps Trade mentioned on his stream this morning, we might have a little bit of a bull run for the next month and a half, you know, to like mid-September, and then we might uh, go down again by the by the end of the year, uh, at least for Bitcoin and, and everything following that. So who knows when we actually get out of this, um, but, you know, a mini bull run would be nice. I do think that let's say like the Fantastic Four number five, I think a 9.2 sells into six figures, like $150,000. You know, let, let's compare like DC for a minute. You know, the Superman, which is one of the best looking on the app, even though he, his legs kind of not connected, he looks really good. And he was, I think, almost at 10,000 at one point, And now he's down to under a thousand. Um, but again, that's, that, that's everything. But Superman, anything, anything DC that we have, whether it be Superman, whether it be the Todd, the Riso, or even Bane back there, which we don't have yet, but I'm really hoping it comes soon uh, to Vivi. Those statues are a couple hundred dollars. Maybe the Todd's worth like a thousand now, you know, maybe a little bit over that. But Bane's worth like 400. That Superman's worth like four or 500. The physical statues do, did not go for near as much as the NFTs. Like the, the digital collectibles literally went for, went for tens of thousands. The Riso went for, for 20, I think 26,000 at one point. You know, we, we don't have that ratio of, is that what it's always going to be like? You know, obviously you have the people that are in the digital that are buying the physical. And the people that are from the physical, are they buying the digital yet? Not not so many people. You know, you have people like Sleep and Comics and Comics and Crypto who are great. Other people as well. Uh, but a lot of the people that I talked to at, at um, San Diego Comic-Con, they were open, but they weren't, they weren't ready yet. It was like when when Cell was trying to get Gohan to go Super Saiyan 2. He's like, that's it. Just need one more little push. They might need a couple more little pushes uh, before they're ready to cross over. But it, you know, that, that will happen at some point eventually. And if we we don't know the ratio of which that Fantastic Four number five secret rare is going to perform to its, uh, you know, its physical counterpart. I mean, if we go based on the physical of of the digital statues. I, I, again, just going based on the physical of the statues, where the physical statues would go for over 10x, or I'm sorry, the digital collectibles go for over 10x of the physical statues. If, if you do that with the comics, okay, well, this comic is going to be $1.5 million. Like, that doesn't make sense. That, that does not make sense. So it's obviously going to be inverse 
because they are so high. You know, what about one tenth? I mean, it's already been over one tenth since a 9.2 is at, you know, 150,000. But I, th I think that was just a 9.2. I think a 9.4, 9.6, I, I think those would get obviously much, much higher. Um, you know, ask comics and crypto or, or sleep in comics about what, what those could potentially go for. It'd be hundreds of thousands of dollars, in which case, you know, one tenth of it would be, you know, 50, let's say $50,000, um, which is which is fine. I, I think that's that's probably fair. So, I mean, you also have to recognize that, you know, Vader doesn't really have that physical statue. Uh, I mean, at least nothing that it's based off of. I mean, it it might be based off a, a couple of things. You know, there, there's a bunch of different poses and, bunch of, and you know, one an animation. But there's no physical thing like, oh, this was modeled after this particular physical item like we do with, like we have with DC. So I, I'm not sure what that could go for. I mean, it is one of the most awesome villains to, to ever take the, the big screen and, and, you know, be pop culture, you know, bigger than, than Voldemort. It's bigger than, bigger than, bigger than Doctor Doom. I would love to see a fight between them. Love to see a fight. So at this point, my non, my non-financial advice to Subby Zero, or for anyone that is going to, uh, trying to trade a grail for a grail, you've already won. You know, j just have fun. I, I don't know which ones go higher. I know that they're both going to be good at the end of the day in the next year or so. If you buy now, you're probably going to be in the black. You're probably going to make probably going to be making some money if you sell. Anyway, moving on. We have Omi Panda saying we're in a bear market and VV is still pretty much selling out all the drops and Omi is doing well. I've been through all bear markets. I've never seen this before. So there's kind of dialing it back where a lot of people are saying like, okay, they they just see the floors going down. They just see their their vault values going down. And they're all negative, but if you if you just zoom out a little bit and you take a look at and Omi Pan has been been in this for for like a decade, saying that he, he's you know he's never seen in a bear market something like this. I mean, granted, nothing like this has ever really happened. You know, this is a very very disruptive company, is very very disruptive industry that that VV is attacking, and you know they're first to market, so they're they're obviously killing it. Um, but but this has never happened. Like I, I feel like you know Barbosa saying like a gathering like this has not happened in our lifetime. And and I feel like we're very lucky to witness this, and we should take a lesson from our elders. I don't know how old Omi Panda is. I I, I, hope, I hope he's a little older. Um, I, I, just saying that. Take a look at the sentiment of the people that have been here before, and recognize that we're in a very good position. We also had uh, Yahoo Finance report that collectibles and NFT market size forecast to reach one trillion dollars by 2032. Again, that was Yahoo Finance. Cannot wait for that. Uh, 2032 was 10 years ago, and then you do have Coin Coin Telegraph saying crypto users spent about 2.7 billion minting NFTs in the first half of 2022, and we got a pretty good part of that. We we have almost 10. Um, no, nah, I, I would say we have. Let me do the math real quick. This math, we had about 7%, because if you have over 180 million, that was, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean 7%. Yeah, no, I was right, 7%. Uh, if we had over 180 million in gems bought, and then the amount of gems that were in the app happened to go down, we, 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 made, we made a good amount. And that's so far. Also, Disney reports that Marvel Comics celebrating 60 years of The Amazing Spider-Man on Saturday, September 10th, from 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, this is for D23. Celebrate 60 spectacular, sensational, web-slinging years of Spider-Man from his humble debut in 1962, Amazing Fantasy 15. Now join Marvel's executive spider editor, Nick Lowe, and editor-in-chief, C.B. Sabolsky, as they team up to trace the comics history behind the web across six decades and beyond. So it does seem like they might be waiting for Amazing Fantasy for D23, for September. So you might not get that at all in August. Does anyone know Paul Barron? Eth? He's got almost 150,000 followers. We've had our very own Kyle Wilson, who's up there, uh, been on his show, I think, a couple of times, had gone on and put out a list of top metaverse gaming cryptos. And you want to know who's on it? A Comey. Top metaverse gaming rated by our research focuses on our 12 historical sentiment data. Each project gets special attention as we build out our data credential to ensure the best quality sentiment. And... Let me take note of this. I want everyone to take note of this as well. This is the top 
metaverse and gaming. And currently, Akomi is not one of those right now. It will be at some point. I mean, technically it is now if you go by Fish and Epico uh, Regal and, and then the other games that they have coming on. But metaverse, the VVverse isn't even out yet, but it will be. And uh, it's going to be ours for the taking. We're going to burn so much. And you know who's getting else into the metaverse? World of Women, which is partnered with Utility, by the way. Uh, they, or they have a partnership. But they say, hey, everyone, have you played the Sandbox game yet? The World of Women Tower is coming during Alpha, excuse me, Season 3. It will be an exciting single-player experience with some puzzle and fighting elements. Get ready to explore all seven virtual dedicated worlds featuring Mother Earth, Rainbow Orb, Flaming Ember, and more. That does sound really interesting, and I cannot wait for it. And again, that's something that Utility is partnered with as well. I'm very curious to see what we do together. Also, Buzz Lightyear is not animated, but it looks like it looks like we might be able to do stuff with him in the future because I I don't know what that is. You try to play with them in the showroom, but it looks like the joints and stuff can be ready to move. And if they're ready to move, then maybe they might update them at some point. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everybody check out at HeyDavidDown and at KingMazForever over on the Twitter. Standoff Chart and KingMaz over on the VV app. Kobe Collects and Player one over on the YouTube with Wraithax.eth domain name. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Sabalas, Putin Cheeks, VV Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy Bermuda, Sony Pop Media, VV Darklink, Meta Lemon, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube. At Nomad with Guitar, at Wet Wizard VV, and Gary O at 1234CA3 all on the Twitter. And Fanny Carbonell FR over on the TikTok. Everyone say bye bye to Dashi. Bye bye, Dashi. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. Bad man. Meow, meow.